going on, dude? Just passed my favorite hardware store in the city. Rittenhouse Hardware, dude. You ever find yourself in a pinch in Philly? That guy looks like Rob Cruz. Um, yeah, they got the sh they got the sh stuff you need, dude. God damn it! I drilled a hole in the wrong spot today, and I'm like autistic with my construction. If I make my girl mad, you know, live and learn, brother. But if I be drilling a hole in the wrong spot and maybe mess up a wall or something, I'm never gonna let her live it down. This is my new dad's style, by the way. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I don't care. You know, I've entered that level of, uh, I'm just like, you know, anymore. It's not like I was ever a fashion guy anyway, but I'm at a point now where I can't plug my phone charger in and I'm going to, uh, fucking spaz, you know, that's why I was uh, every day. I think every construction site should have somebody to punch in the stomach when you're just having a bad day. Maybe I should start hitting my helpers. But, um, what was I talking about? I already lost it. I don't know. My girl can make me mad. Uh, construction makes me angry if I make a mistake. I won't roll it down. You never see a heroin addict on a scooter. Rarely. I, um... Dude, am I nuts? I just saw... Last week, was there hurricanes And I did see this. This happened. Hurricanes in Ohio? What a fucking cr my parents neighborhood like almost got hit with one like a couple years ago dude if tornadoes start dropping down in philly that might be that lady looks like a vampire that might be one of the funniest things that could happen it, it, that would be so goddamn funny kensington have a hurricane like tornadoes tornadoes hurricanes hurricanes are wet is that the deal rain hurricane that sounds like it makes sense right Rains, hurricanes, tornadoes, they just whip you around, slam you, throw your cat out of the house. Whatever. But yeah, dude, a fucking nice tornado hitting, hitting Kensington would be next level. Imagine, dude, wiggers flying through the air. Shit, dude. Unbelievable. What have I been up to, man? Mother's Day was yesterday. Did you boys take your bitches out? Your moms? I didn't take my mom out. I had to take my baby mother out. I was supposed to do like a comedy show with moms and I didn't do it. I was like, dude, I don't have the heart to do this. It is officially hot chicken city season. Hot chicken the city season, baby. It's the best. Best time of year. It doesn't matter for me. I'm just saying for guys who could do something about it, it's a good time of year. I, um, yeah, dude, Mother's Day. I went, I had to go to the food store because I'm like, also, I, I'm, I'm done getting flack for calling the grocery store the food store. What the fuck? Leave me alone. I went there. My girl was like, I want bad sausage. I was like, what are you... I've been giving you bad sausage. I, um... Yeah, she's like, I want bad sausage. I'm like, what the fuck is bad sausage? She just likes that trash. And I, But I was in the food store, and I'm looking for it. I'm like, where's the bad sausage? And some lady overheard me say it. She's like, I'm looking for bad sausage. I was like, is this like a widely known term? She just wanted that, like, Jimmy Dean shit. But I didn't have the heart to get the kind that's, like, so bad, you know? Uh, how much are these electric bikes that everybody has now? They can't be that cheap, right? There's a food truck I'm driving by right now in Philly that has fucking... They do grilled octopus on a food truck. And I'm like... Seems like a high-ticket item to have in a cart. Right, Clark? You know? I, um... So, yeah, I got the bad sausage. I need to step up my dad game, my, my cooking. I need to get something. I need to get it going. You know? Like I can't, I, I don't, I don't have a grill. I think that's my next step to uh, manhood or whatever. But like, I can't be the dad who just can't make food. Like my stepdad, I knew every time he watched us, he would make. Uh, we called it slops, which was just um, it was just whatever the leftovers were from the night before with some kind of sauce on it. So he would just put everything in a pot, mix it up, and you'd get your slops. And it was usually rice aroni, which was amazing. That's what happened. I, that's like when you really accept, I don't know, food used to, everybody's like, there's poison in the food now. I'm like, dude, everything was in a box, right? Forever. Hamburger Helper used to fucking rock. My dad drank Tang. That was basically, I was raised by a guy who liked Steven Seagal and Tang. So that kind of explains my personality, you know? I'm Tang guy. I have a Tang energy about me. I always forget which the way way to do that here. Mm, it's gotta be 
or JFK, right? Yeah. Right? Right? I'm, I'm on my way to the fucking... What a bummer thing I gotta go to. I gotta go to a... I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to a surgeon to see my... To have him look at my fucking ankle. There's the last guy... The last guy I went to, they were like, yeah, dude, you need either need another reconstruction or an ankle replacement. An ankle replacement or uh, fusing my ankle. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. You know? It's like, if you ever wonder how stupid of a person you are, feel rest assured I'm dumb. I used to kickbox and fucking... I would play in these seven-on-seven -seven football leagues and just completely tear the shit out of my ankle and be like... I thought I was just twisting my ankle so I would just tape it up. You know what I mean? Rub some dirt on it. And just keep going back. And then I got surgery and they rebuilt my ankle. And I went back to kickboxing. Like, what's wrong with you, dude? God, I wish I was fucking... I wish I had any kind of, like, balls back when I was younger. Because, like, I would be like, I'll kickbox you in my underwear, but I will not try stand-up comedy. Like, I wish I would have started earlier... But it's like, yeah, Ryan, you wish you would have started comedy earlier, but, like, would I have... I probably would have ended up in rehab. I, you could argue I should go to rehab now. But, you know, I got a kid to raise. That guy has brand new Tims and he's homeless. Napping. Shout out to those guys. Like, homeless guys, they really got it together because I can't even nap on the couch. These guys are fucking napping in just wherever. I shouldn't have took this route. Whatever. I, um, yeah, so I would just keep going and kicking stuff and jump roping when it hurt. I'm like, dude, it's okay. You know, you gotta, you gotta accept that athletics aren't for you. Like, I remember when I was like, football ain't gonna work out. When you, you play football against real black guys, you're like, there's no chance. There's no shot. Yeah, so I, I made my, my girl a terrible, terrible breakfast. It, was, it wasn't that bad. But I made my, um... Can I ever fucking keep a train of thought? Like, I'm interrupting myself right now. I, it's, like, shocking I have friends, you know? But what can you do? I fucking... Yeah, dude. What are you gonna do? I drilled the... I made the... I drilled the... I made the... I made the mediocre breakfast. I did, like, the... My thing... The only thing I'm consistently good at making is the bread with the hole in it and you put the egg in there. You want that? I'm your fucking guy, dude. If that's what you're looking for, I'm your dude. Is this going to have so much traffic on it? I need to get, like, one of them little GoPros or something to record this with. But then, like, what's the deal with that? You got to upload it. You know? Like, this podcast right now, I'm going to record this until I run out of memory on my phone. I keep deleting stuff off my phone. They're like, you don't have enough memory. And then Apple has the balls to fucking... Hit. Dude, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Fuck off. These fucking cocksuckers that go down the left lane and then they want to get in front of you. And act like, what, what do you have to be that's more important than where I gotta go, you fucking retard? Can you say this stuff on YouTube? Ryan, yeah, that's why I only have 17 listeners. It's not the fact that you're low-quality production and you're screaming slurs at strangers on 76. It is what it is. You know? But, um, yeah, dude, I made the bread. I made the bad sausage. It wasn't even bad sausage. It was just, you know, breakfast links. Cook them bitches up. We did get a new stove, and I don't know if you guys have this. One of the gas burners is called a simmer burner. What am I simmering? I'm not a sauce guy. And it's at the back of the... I don't know. Makes no sense. So I made that. I made some bacon. Burnt the shit out of the bacon. Because I don't know about you guys. I don't like crispy bacon. I like a nice chewy bacon. I like the white fat. I would eat... I mean, I like meat so raw that I would, like, bite a cow. I would gnaw on a cow's arm. Like four-legged beast i um yeah did that and then my lady wanted to go to the goddamn container store have you guys heard of this women love organization they love like any kind of box or like anything that slides they love spinny things they're really a simple people they're not smart like me you know i mean i say that and i have a milwaukee pack out that gets my fucking bird hard every time i use it but um yeah, dude, so we went to the container store because she wanted, to, like, a fucking, I don't know, like a Dewey Decimal System thing you put in the cabinet for your spatulas. I don't understand, really, but it's Mother's Day, so you got to be like, ha, ah, yeah. you know, you got to smile on the bench. Eh. 
We had to return. We got to return our. Uh, I returned my barbecue linens from Cabo because we didn't go. Which is a shame because I would have looked fucking great in Cabo, you know? Yeah. Yeah! I, um, yeah, we did that and then I, we went to Tacanelli's, which is the, guess, the best goddamn pizza place. I don't know if you guys, like, every time I go to another pizza place that's really good, I'm like, this is it. I think that's why I, like, cheated. I like that's why I like cheating on women so much when I was younger because I was like, this is the girl. This is her. And then you go to a bar and you're like, that's, that might be her, you know? Am I comparing women to pizza? You know. I'm joking. Forcing around. But yeah. Dude, Tacanelli, I was there last night. I'm like, this is the place. And then I went to the scrapyard last week, and they gave me a bunch of $2 bills out of the... I don't know if you got... I'm the only comedian that goes to the scrapyard, for sure. I'm sure there's some guys who, like, smoke meth and do open mics, but not like me. Um... Yeah, so I did that. But they gave me a bunch of $2 bills, so I'm like, am I gonna be like the fun guy who lives two dollar bills for tips waitresses and i'm like that guy was so goofy don't remember me and then put extra sauce on the pizza does that make sense i don't know yeah friday what i do i i keep agreeing to do like electrical favors for friends I, that's it mainly like if yeah dude it's tough it's like when you when you have like a trade you're good at it really sucks was that a lady with a goatee she had a pow mia vanity plate what the fuck is going on dude ah, ah. i just said that like i fucking burnt my tongue ah. these kids not these you know i um i can't wait until i get to some kind of altercation on this podcast it doesn't get released and like i die i just saw some guy who died on twitter and his wife like tweeted from his account i'm like don't look at his bookmarks christ that's how I know I've I've turned the corner on being a scumbag. Because my girlfriend knows the password on my phone. Because it's like, back in the day, I would guard that with, I mean, my life. Like, I, it's taken me, like, years to get rid of the scumbag turn. Like, when you're on the couch with your chick, everything's always very smokescreen. Like, I have a boxer's defense, you know? It's tough, dude. I, you know, I'm like Floyd Mayweather with my phone. It, very hard to get a line on. What is that? Yeah, you know who? Who? What am I thinking of? I'm doing like the Philly Shell with my lady. Like yeah, if I can, yeah, I'm running out of energy here. There's a lot of fake cops going on. Federal Protective Service. Why do what, 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 what else you guys got going on? Yeah, we did that. We did Tacanelli's. We watched that show. Um, and do you guys like cooking shows? I love a good cooking show. Say say what you will about that. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I like that cooking show. It's called 20, 24 in 24. They have 24 chefs get locked in, like, a fucking airplane hangar for 24 hours and do a bunch of challenges. And the guy I wanted to win, thank God, there was a Spanish guy I hated. Not because he's Spanish, for other reasons. I didn't like his personality. I didn't like his, the cut of his jib. His food looked goddamn banging, though. But I'm such, like, a psycho. Every time I watch a cooking show, I'm like, would these guys make anything I like? My girl gets so mad at me because I'm like, this guy, I, I know how I like ramen. Could he do it? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you know your mom's cooking is like what you like, unless you had a bad mom? Like, my mom's cooking. She knows what I like. She hits what I need. Then you go to some people's places and they're like, my mom's a good cook. I'm like, your mom's dog shit. This is Alpo. This is terrible. Sometimes I wonder if that's the only reason I'm with my girl. I mean, I love her. Great girl. Gorgeous woman. But you're like... Is it the cutlets? We were like three months into dating. And uh, my girl hated me. And she didn't hate me when we started dating. She was like, you're a fucking douche. And I'm like, yeah. That's what they all say. I'm going to wear you down. Wear you down. A little rope of dope. A lot of boxing references here. Um, but yeah, you're like, what was the point? Oh, the cooking show. They're like fucking... 24 challenges. And I love cook. Like, I like the cooking shows. But every goddamn chef acts like... I had to have bitched about this before. It's just like, dude, the service industry wouldn't understand what we go through. It's like, dude, climb a fucking 30-foot ladder and bug in a service. Shut up. Don't even be fucking crying about it. I need to, you know, I need to see a therapist or something. Got a lot of problems. You know, me and my buddy were talking about, he was talking about, um, 
his mom died when he was younger, and he's talking about like how sometimes you can use it to go on a bender. You're like, yeah, I'm really feeling it right now. I'm really struggling with that right now. So like, anytime something bad happens to me, I'm like, yeah, my dead brother's popped up in my head, so I I had to black out and stay out with my friends last night. It's tough. Like, it's better to do that than go online and be like, I'm trauma, I'm trauma uh, dumping on Instagram. It's like, dude, how about you dump those titties out? And shut up. Instagram's for horsing around and looking hot. I, I fucking, I'm not into all the fucking, everybody with like the therapy shit. I swear to God, the worst thing that ever happened was, it's like people making up like therapy terms on social media and then fucking psychoanalyzing everybody. I'm like, sweetheart, you're an accountant. Shut up. What do you know? Let me see, you know, what are you going to do? Do I ever fucking make a point? I like start, I, I think I have my mind made up and then I think the other way and I'm like, eh, this is embarrassing. Stop talking. You, you would think I'd stop talking, but then I'm like, is my low fuel level going to come on? Of course it is. It's like, what else? What else? You know? That's traumatic. You guys ever run out of gas before? I don't think I've ever run out of gas. I, I think that's how you're raised. Like, I was raised by a man who would, my fucking stepdad, that he would drive the amount of times we puttered into gas station. It's like, it's unbelievable. There's something about that. Oh, God. Yeah, that pizza was so good last night. I keep drinking. I was drinking a bunch of wine, too. I think I almost overdid it. You know when you're, like, drinking with your girl and she stops drinking and you're like, oh, come on. More. Yeah, I'm going to open a third bottle. Who, why are you counting? Didn't I do enough today? Didn't I make the eggs in a blanket? The birds in a basket? Whatever it's called. What's that called? A bullseye? Birdie in a basket? Whatever. You know. I can't wait to see what this doctor says to me. I wish I could find the guy who did my first surgery and punch him in the face. If you're watching this, doctor fucking... I was too confident. He was Indian, so I was like, this guy knows something. He knows something I don't, which all doctors do, and that's how to stay in school. You know? I could never... My, my girlfriend's always like, you're too smart. You should have... You should have... You should have uh, went to college. It would have... I guess I am at the age now where I realize a lot of people that went to... Like, I remember when I was in... When I was college age and banging chicks that went to college, I'm like, I'm smarter than this broad. How's she in Penn State? Not me. And then it goes back to refusing to take your SATs, you know? I remember the fat lady who came in and told us we had to come on a Saturday. And I was like, you are out of your mind. You're out of it. Can I just go to the colleges and bang the chicks on the weekends? Can I just come up and sell them weed and sometimes pills that I get my hands on, you know? That's when living was living. I remember when I first went to my... When I first went to trade school, I thought I was fucking Johnny Hotshot. And, um... We were at a... I was, the chick I was seeing lived in, like, these lofts downtown. On Temple's campus. And, um... The fucking... Somebody either pulled a fire alarm or something happened. And they had to evacuate the building. And I went up with a butter knife. And took the strobe off the wall. Not realizing that those systems are addressable and they could find the strobe that was missing. And then they came to our place and I was like, some drunk guy was like, yeah, I worked for the building and left. They bought it. Classic Ryan. Classic me there. I definitely took the longest way to get here. But, shout out to me for that. I need to get, I need to shave. What I need to do is figure out how to do my own facial hair. Because I keep going to my boy Rick and I keep putting a beating on the guy. Poor bastard. I think I need to grow a mullet, dude. Get a mullet growing. I need to get a solid mullet going. That would be nice. I keep doing that thing where you shave the sides. Now I keep thinking about... Damn, I'm trying to... I need to go to school. Not not school. I need to go get my fucking license to just start my own business. I'm sick of working for people. But then you got to worry about fucking dealing with guys. Not giving you money. Every couple looks miserable in the car. They all look miserable. Are you boys watching the NBA? I don't watch any of that shit. I did watch UFC this weekend. It was actually, dude, every time they have those shitty cards, you're thinking, like, this is going to be terrible, and then it pops on, you're like, boom. Oof, marron. It's a good one. I do love Derek Lewis. He did pull his bare ass cheeks out, and I'm like, dude, how does he not get in trouble for that? And these guys that, like, jump the cage are getting fined. I'm like, what are we doing? But who's going to, I mean, I wouldn't find that guy. Scary black guy. I get it. Pull your cheeks out. Do what you gotta do. Pause. What's going on with Kendrick and Drake? Are they still fucking bippity bopping back and forth? What are those boys up to? 
I feel like everybody's talking about that, and I just, I can't get into rap anymore. I don't know if it's because I'm fucking 36, I'll be 36. But listening to rap and driving in a construction site just doesn't feel right. I'm like, I'm not doing cool enough shit to listen to this anymore. I don't smoke weed anymore. Maybe I'll get back into weed, you know? I've been listening to, who the fuck, somebody just had it up. I think Gardini posted a fucking, was it Gardini? Somebody posted something with Lakeshore Drive on, and I was like, God damn, I forgot about that song. That shit hits. And my buddy, I brought up to him, I was like, God damn. It's like, where where did that go? Did you ever, like, have the pressure on you at a party to put on a cool song, and you're like, I'm going to put on a fucking Creed again? How is this not... Never mind. You know, I'm going to put on Creed again, dude. Deal with it. Creed rules. But Lakeshore Drive, that song is so goddamn good. I forget what that guy's name. It's like Bobby... I'm always blown away with how can you make 